throw, 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 throw it up. <laughs> Start twerking like Miley. Robocop is arguably the best movie ever made about a robotic police officer who backhands criminals through unconvincing looking brick walls. Join us as we explore five lesser known facts about this awesome movie. Facts like, 5. They brought that guy who gets blown away by ED-209 back in for reshoots just to kill him some more. Robocop is a movie where people die super hard. Clarence Boddicker gets punched in the throat with a fist knife, some guy gets his dong shot off, and even Alex Murphy gets his hand blown off with a shotgun before he gets turned into the titular Robocop. However, arguably the person who dies the hardest is Mr. Kenny aka the guy ED-209 blows away in front of boardroom of wholly unimpressive OCP executives. The actor who played Kenny, Kevin Page, would later report that after filming his death scene for three straight days, he left production and assumed that would be the end of his involvement with the film. However, Verhoeven wasn't happy with the way the shot of him being murdered by ED-209 looked, so toward the end of production he called the actor back in and rebuilt the entire boardroom set just to shoot him some more. The gore was evidently too much for them pa, who ordered that it be cut to secure an R rating, because they didn't realize that the movie was supposed to be satire. 4. Robocop's gun was specially made for Robocop's giant hands. Robocop's signature sidearm, the Auto 9, is one of the most iconic guns in cinema history. Packing enough of a punch to blow a man's penis off from 300 yards with a 50 round magazine, the Auto 9 is the perfect weapon for the Robocop on the go. Initially, though, the Auto 9 was never in script and was built by the prop department out of necessity when they realized all other guns looked hilariously small in Robocop's giant manimal paws. Specifically, Robocop was initially supposed to carry a desert eagle until the prop department saw that it looked like a toy in Peter Weller's hand in full Robocop costume. As a result, the prop department decided to just make a gun from scratch by heavily modifying a Beretta 93R to such an extent that they had to fill in special paperwork just to get permission to have it in the country. This is because although the gun was supposed to be a pistol, it was for all intents and purposes a high-caliber near-automatic weapon, meaning Robocop was wielding a gun that would rip most people's arms off. 3. Robocop's face is bulletproof. Robocop firmly establishes that the eponymous Justice Love and Cyborg is wholly immune to the effects of gunfire, with Robocop being shot literally thousands of times in one scene and walking away relatively unscathed. Now, a common question posed by fans is to wonder aloud what would happen if one of those bullets hit Robocop in his face. Apparently the answer to his question is, well, nothing. You see, although it looks like Robocop has a human face below his mask, below that face is robotic skull that's just as bulletproof as the rest of his body. To be clear, the face Robocop has is Alex Murphy's original face and it's presumed it was cut from his body and attached to Robocop's robo skull both as a tribute to Alex Murphy and to give him a trace of humanity. That way it won't weird out members of the public who'd naturally be wary of a faceless, robotic avatar with a massive gun, too. The melting man scene was so popular them pet couldn't cut it. There's a scene in Robocop where a criminal named Emil crashes into a vat of toxic waste while trying to run over Robocop. The toxic waste washes over Emil causing his flesh to melt from his bones. Emil's day then somehow gets worse when he's hit by a car traveling at what looks like Mach 3, causing him to explode like a balloon filled with pus being thrown against a wall. The Mpe hated the scene and fought incredibly hard to have it cut wholesale from the movie, citing that it was neither artistically justified or entertaining due to its excessive gore. This came as news to the producers who had tasked a research group with seeing what test audiences liked best about the movie and found that they near universally cited The Melting Man as their favorite part of the entire film. Faced with evidence that audiences not only objectively found the scene entertaining but considered it the most 
entertaining part of the film them pe quietly backed down and let remain in the film uncut, 1. Everybody hated the name. According to most everyone involved with the production of Robocop, it was passed over by numerous executives simply because of how stupid the name sounded. Director Paul Verhoeven even went as far to throw the script in the trash after reading the title, assuming it was a stupid action movie. It wasn't until his wife read the script and explained to him that it was actually a movie about a man's struggle for his own humanity that the director realized that the film's name belied the depth found in its script. Luckily the name eventually grew on executives and they decided to leave it the way it was, which is why we can now say with a completely straight face that a movie about a robotic police officer solving his own murder called Robocop is one of the best movies of the 80s. Throw, 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 throw it up. Start working like Miley.